Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So XRP is the one to watch. Yes, I know you hate it, but the fact is Ethereum is not the only other altcoin out there. Your bias blinds you to the fact that the fintech revolution will not be running primarily on Ethereum. And we see ISO 222, XRP, XLM, ADA, XDC, HBAR, ALGO. I could add a few others to that. But XLM is going to be very important. And then we see this. CBDC, XRP, and XLM backed by metals. Now people don't like that. People on Twitter do not like when people say, well, XRP is gold and XLM is silver because they can't see it. But you got to think about this. And I said this in other videos. At one point in time, somebody dug up gold. They didn't know the value of that gold until a monetary value was put on it. And that's how we look at cryptocurrencies. We don't know the true value of XRP or XLM. A monetary value is going to have to be put on it in order for us to exchange it. In other words, think about it. Somebody says to you, hey, you know, a friend of yours in another country says, I could really use a loan today. I have some problems and I got to get them taken care of right now. What are you going to say to them? Well, I would send you the money through MoneyGram, but right now, XLM's price is down a little bit. Can't we wait till tomorrow when the price goes back up? No, it can't work that way. Retail wouldn't work that way. That's why it has to have a monetary value. And if not, it just wouldn't work. Then we see this. Now, I bring this up a lot because this is important. Because I see a lot of people on Twitter and other places say, well, this cryptocurrency is better than that cryptocurrency, or this one's going to be valued much higher than that one. And then, of course, they'll bring out how it's pegged to some sort of metal. Now, XDC we know is going to be big. Algorand's going to be very huge also. And Stellar is going to be just as big, if not much bigger, due to the payments and transactions we talk about on this channel all the time. And we know Quant can easily be worth more than Ripple. But what if Stellar was worth more than Ripple? People right now are probably like, oh, you're, no way, that can't even happen. But payments have to be made from person to person and retail. Now we know Ripple is bank to bank. And it's going to be big. A lot of money is going to transfer. But a lot of money is also going to be transferred using Stellar. So why can't Stellar's price come close to Ripple's price? And I've said that in previous videos. People told me I was crazy. They said there's no way Stellar is going to even come close to Ripple. But why can't it? Now, I'm not saying Stellar is going to surpass Ripple's price in any way before everybody calls me out on that. But I'm saying it could get close, I would think. So let me guess. The CBDC will be built on XLM or ALGO only thing Bitcoin has done is open the door. So the Central African Republic, which adopted Bitcoin as legal tender in April, is poised to ditch Bitcoin after lack of demand and plans to release their own CBDC. Well, let me guess. There was a lack of demand because people didn't want to pay fees and wait forever for money to be transferred around. Now, we know Bitcoin is not going to be part of the new financial system. We know it's not even an option because of lack of speed and high price. And people will still argue that out. They'll say, no, Bitcoin is easily can be used for that, especially with the Lightning Network. So worth bearing in mind that the Ukraine CBDC is in development on Stellar. And we know that Stellar has a lot of ties to a lot of cryptocurrencies. I'm talking about digital currencies, you know, like the digital euro, the U.S.'s digital dollar, probably Britain's digital pound, and others. So why can't Stellar's value go up? 
And then we see this. Now, this is very important, and I want to talk about this. Because a lot of people are in favor of CBDCs. A lot of people can't wait until November to come. They want to get, see that $10,000 XRP already, or that $5,000 Stellar, or $7,500 Stellar, wherever it goes. But you also got to think about this. A cashless society means no more tuck away cash for those preparing to leave domestic violence. No more purchases off marketplace unless you want to risk bank transfer fraud. No more garage sales. No more cash donations to hungry homeless. You pass. No more cash slipped into the hands of a child from their grandparent. No more money in birthday cards. No more piggy banks or tooth fairy for your child. No more selling bits and pieces from your home that you no longer want for a bit of cash in return. Less choices of where you purchase based on affordability. You gotta take the good with the bad. Now, in my idea is that I like to see technology move everything forward. I like to see new technologies being built all the time. But in the back of your mind, you also got to think to yourself, okay, there's real people out there that are going to be lost in the cracks of this. Think of the waitress that works, she gets tips and she takes those tips, doesn't report it to the government and goes and spends it on whatever. And, you know, you got to think about grandma handing over $100 on your birthday. And all of this would now be tracked by the government and they'd want you to pay taxes on it. Or they want to keep track of every single transaction you make. So with a cashless society comes a lot of issues. And I think a lot of people are already talking about, you know, taking hordes of cash. And I've seen people talk about this in other places. You know, there's a lot of people out there that think they could hoard away cash now and use it in a separate system from the rest of the world. And I know that's not going to work, but they will try to make it work. A lot of people will not give up cash, fiat. But the world is going to move forward whether they like it or not. CBDCs are coming into every country. And, you know, new digital money is coming into every single country. A lot of people talk about one world currency. But we see that's not what's taking place. Because the U.S. is going to have their digital currency. Russia is going to have theirs. Euro already has theirs. China already has theirs. It's just the way the money moves from one country to another country. From one person to another person. It's no longer going to be handled in paper. I mean, think about it. Even the drug dealer at this point would be hurt by this. Why? His business is all in cash. Think about it. Somebody goes and buys drugs, right? And you have to do it over, you know, a digital wallet. So what would you list it as when you when that money's transferred to the US government? You know, what would you list that purchase as? But that doesn't matter. What matters is I'm more concerned about the everyday average person who's never heard about cryptocurrency. They don't know the world we know. Instead, they know a cash world, or they know a world where they use the local bank, and they're going to be left behind. Us, on the other hand, we're moving forward. We're going to get rich off of this very soon. But I just wanted to point that out before we move any further, so let's continue on. I hope everyone in cryptocurrency is ready to keep going down. We are headed into a recession with nothing to stimulate the economy over the next year or longer. Even stock markets and housing have a long way to fall. Now, I just seen a thing on the news. And, you know, they were talking about people pulling out of mortgages. So I know the housing is going to crash very soon. And the thing is, they were telling you to buy at this high for so long. And I think people are starting to see through it. People that aren't in crypto even are starting to see through it. 
because I also seen an article that said you can no longer lock in a fixed rate. That that can change any time. And that worries people. So we know a housing crash is coming. We know the stock market. I believe that still has one more blow off top before the whole system comes down. And I think things are headed in a very bad direction over the next year or so. Hey, Stellar Org, any chance you can help me recoup my XLM that's frozen on Celsius Network and possibly lost forever? All of my XLM is locked. I've been saying it on this channel since the very first video I've done. If you're still holding crypto on an exchange, get it off of the exchange now. Because we don't know what can happen. And think about it. If we hit those prices that we talk about all the time, even a thousand dollar XLM, and all of a sudden you can't sell when you want to, or some kind of news comes up and XLM gets delisted, wouldn't you rather be holding it instead of losing it on an exchange or having it locked up? Get it off the exchanges. Though our inter integration with Stellar Org and MoneyGram, we take a monumental step towards bridging the gap between physical and digital currencies in a way that has not been done before at scale. That's real world use case for XLM. And that is what you have to think about when you're investing. You have to think about utility and use case. Don't think about meme coins. And then we see this, huge. There are billions of unbanked citizens around the world with little or no access to financial services. Many of us take for granted. Now, Telemobile, Visa, CirclePay, and Stellar Org are joining forces to empower these underestimated users. You see how Stellar can become bigger and bigger as time goes on. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about price. For me, it's not about making a quick buck here and there. It's about creating generational wealth. As long as you know what you hold, you shouldn't need to worry about the future. And that's what I always tell you on this channel. Diversify. Put a little bit of money in each one of those ISO 222 tokens. You cannot go wrong with them. You will get rich in the future. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.